will show you a configuration or a purchasing behavior of Azure as well from an end customer standpoint. So uh, as this uh, uh, service provider has configured different uh, products to be on sale, uh, let's go and figure out how the customer is able to make a purchase of an Azure pro uh, offering from this customer, from this service provider. So in here, as you can see here, uh, this is a, a purely a pay-per-use model of offering from this provider. So the customer says, I would like to go and provision an Azure subscription. So the customer now subscribes for it here. Again, the customer needs to enter his details if it's an existing customer or new customer, etc. And the important aspect here is in this model, this service provider, Zenet Live, has requested for the customer to make a deposit. Okay, so because in 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 a real paper use model, it's really a very difficult situation because you may not necessarily know the consumption as quickly as you would like to because it, yeah, the consumption report may come in two days later, one week later. In those kind of scenarios, the customer may end up with a huge bill. So the service provider here has the capability to, def to minimize the risk by defining this Azure fund value in his portal. So this provider has chosen to request the customer to make a deposit of 5,000 to be used for that kind of eventuality where the customer is running a huge bill, etc. So uh, the host name check is done, primarily required to be associated with an Azure subscription here. And uh, once this validation is done, this particular host name is available and that can be added now to this record as well here for the purchase. And now the customer is able to make that 5,000 rupees payment and then subsequently get his services provisioned. Okay, so this is a, a, a scenario where customer is able to make a purchase via the marketplace for an Azure pay-per-use model. Okay, so in this scenario, what happens is once the pay now button is clicked, the payment gateway processes the payment and Azure subscription gets provisioned for this customer. Okay. So in this scenario, the customer gets his Azure portal details, login details by email, and he can now go and create his virtual machines and instances and everything directly on the Azure portal. Okay, so here uh, the customer has complete control and flexibility to be able to manage a subscription directly in terms of services, what he would like to create on the Azure portal. He can do that himself. Okay? And what RackNet has the capability to do is to report on consumption on a regular basis of choice by you as a service provider. So you as a service provider can uh, provide the option to report on usage on a regular basis. So uh, let me come on to that uh, when I go into the customer control panel. So, so far, I guess uh, to summarize, uh, um, we looked at the purchasing behavior of a customer purchasing an Office 365 from the marketplace. We also looked at the purchasing behavior of a customer for an Azure pay-per-use plan as well from here, okay? So now let me go on to the managing the customer services here. So for which I'm going to take you to this panel here. So I'm now logged in to the customer self-service portal as Nitesh here. So I am now logged in here. I can see various tabs here. My services gives me details of the services which I have purchased. And similarly, my support gives me option to log support tickets as well. And then my billing gives me option for me to look at my invoices, etc. 
okay so in this example here i've opened up an azure subscription which this customer has purchased and he purchased it uh, on this date the usage data for this billing period from the 1st of July to the 4th of July is this. The customer has consumed this much of data management resource category uh, in terms of consumption. He has consumed this much network assets. The, basically the unit of measurement is this and the consumption is this and the total selling price or the retail price to the customer is this value. Okay. So you as a service provider can set up cost price on the uh, or Microsoft sets the cost price for you which is at which rate you buy from them and RackNav gives you the flexibility or the capability to set margins and then that margin uh, applied cost price is what is applied to show the final purchase price for the customer. So in this scenario, you are selling at this rate to the customer. You might have bought it at, for example, 320 INR, for example, in this scenario. So uh, you have the flexibility to drive all of that. And one very interesting capability with RackNap is, uh, if you recall, we were actually showing an Azure security deposit of 5,000 rupees. So here, the consumption has already touched 4,794, which is effectively more than 90% of its consumption. So the beauty with which RackNap operates is, RackNap actually helps to define alerts in the platform whereby uh, based on actual consumption you are able to see the uh, reports coming to you with alerts for example I'm now showing you what alerts you can define on the platform so this is a service provider view here there is a service alerts master so here you are able to go and configure the platform for alerts for Azure Cloud. And here you can see that when the usage has reached 70%, you can actually alert a group of people by sending different alert options. If you have that 80% or 90%, etc., you can add more granular levels as well, 95%, 97%, etc. as well. And you can also sustain.